Okay, this is where we've got to on my modular synthesizer. Now, some bits here look quite professional and other bits here look very, very amateurish. And it's the amateurish end where I started. So when I had COVID a few weeks ago, I decided to build a few modules and just see how I get on. So the first thing I built was this oscillator here. I then built a filter. And then after that, I didn't build anything else until I built these two modules. This here is a voltage controlled amplifier and this is an ADSR. And these, like the 20 drums, which I built a little while ago, are all modules designed and built by, or designed rather by uh, Sam Battle, otherwise known as Look Mum No Computer. And these two I actually had as Christmas presents for my mum, which I finished off recently. And here is the 20 drums. And if you remember my video about the fart box build, I bought this at the same time. So this is basically a sort of drum machine. And if I hit the play button on my Beatstep Pro, you can hear it's playing drums. And uh, we've got a kick, we've got a kick drum here, we've got a snare drum, we've got a sort of clappy thing there. And then we've got low bongo and high bongo. So we've got all the sounds there you need for sort of, you know, good old analog synth pop. And these can also be plugged directly into your recording or mixing device separately, or there's a mix at the bottom, and I'm just using the mix for this quick demo. Now, here we've got our basic oscillator, and if I go to the keyboard, and this is going through this filter, so if we fiddle with the filter, yeah, it's pretty good, and, a, and the resonance control gives us... Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. And the resonance control can be controlled by control voltage as well. Um, both of these circuits were actually also off the Look Mom No Computer website, but they were built on stripboard. And so this is where I've got. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here a um, an, an LFO and a noise generator. So I'm just going to chop up a bit of metal, build them both on Vera board or strip board, however you like to call it, and they'll be bolted in there. And then I'll have some sort of mixer here so you can mix the LFO, the noise, and the oscillator together before it goes into the filter and then before it gets into the ADSR. Now, the ADSR here, as you can tell, that's a you know, works pretty well. I really like it, actually. So you can have no release or a long release. And we've got this time control that extends it. So yeah, it's all pretty good. And uh, just thought I'd let you have a rough listen to what it sounds like. So I've got a, some pattern, a pattern I just whacked into the Beat Step Pro. So if I start the drums off first, or the keyboards even, uh, I'll unmute the drums. And then just fiddle with the filter. I'll change the waveform. Add a bit more release there. Go back to the other waveform. So there we have it, that's as far as I've got at the moment, but I think, you know, for something homemade, it's not sounding too bad at all. So, you know, with a bit more, bit more work, um, hopefully I'll have something sounding really great. And just for this video, all the sounds are completely dry, I've not put any effects on. Um, but obviously if you add things like reverb and delay and stuff, then, you know, obviously you're going to get a much better sound. But, you know, seeing as this didn't exist a couple of months ago, and as I said, these two when I had COVID in November, I just made them up while I was just to pass the time. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with this. So uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.